For a week now, Senator Clinton has bashed Senator Obama and even possibly won votes based on the story that Obama had publicly railed against NAFTA, while a memo by a Canadian diplomat claimed Obama's campaign secretly assured them his stand, quote, should be viewed as more about political positioning than a clear articulation of policy plans. In our fourth story on the countdown, Obama's advisor denied speaking those words, and now we learn that a much higher source from Canada revealed late last month that the NAFTA promises came from a very different source, the Clinton campaign. According to an unnamed source speaking to that nation's equivalent of the Associated Press, the Canadian press, it was Clinton's campaign that contacted the Canadian government to reassure them about Clinton's anti-NAFTA rhetoric. The Canadian press reporting that the source heard the chief of staff to Canada's prime minister say in a room full of television journalists, quote, someone from Clinton's campaign is telling the embassy to take it with a grain of salt. Someone called us and told us not to worry. Well, it's not often that the Canadian government finds itself tangled up in a U.S. presidential campaign. But when a report last week suggested Barack Obama's campaign called Canadian officials to tell them not to take their candidates' anti-NAFTA rhetoric seriously, it caused a stir and a series of denials on both sides of the border. That report turned out not to be entirely accurate, but as Neil McDonald reports, that hasn't stopped it from having a major impact. Nobody reached out to the Canadians to try to reassure them of anything. And so uh, th th there's, nothing, uh, th th there's nothing more there. What began as a political leak has now escalated into a nasty fight between the government of Canada and a man who may be the next president of the United States. The Canadian embassy here is mortified. The Obama campaign is enraged and Ottawa is now trying to repair the damage. Sources suggest someone in Stephen Harper's government decided to leak their own version of Obama's views. Within hours, CTV News was reporting Obama's people had phoned the Canadian government, not the other way around. The report also said, incorrectly, that an Obama operative had directly warned Michael Wilson, the Canadian ambassador in Washington, telling him not to take Obama's NAFTA rhetoric seriously. Effectively, the story suggested Obama was lying to the Ohio voters. Obama's rivals pounced, and they've been pouncing ever since. I don't think it's appropriate to go to Ohio and tell people one thing while your aide is calling the Canadian ambassador and telling them something else. Uh, you know, I don't think people should come to Ohio and tell the people of Ohio one thing and then have your campaign tell a foreign government something else behind closed doors. Meanwhile, the Canadian embassy reviewed the diplomatic cable, acknowledged it may have misrepresented the Obama advisor apologized to Obama and issued a blanket denial, but too late. Today, a senior Obama campaign official told CBC the diplomatic cable did indeed present a false picture of the Obama advisor's views. Why is Canada meddling in the internal affairs of the United States, asked the official. To provide such a false account at this juncture on the eve of a crucial election is not an accident, and it is really, really stupid. Privately, some Canadian officials agree with that. This afternoon in Ottawa, the Foreign Affairs Ministry issued a new statement, this one saying that none of their diplomats ever meant to suggest in any way that Barack Obama says one thing in public and something else in private. Stephen Harper, meanwhile, said he's confident Canada will be able to work with whomever wins the election here this fall. Neil McDonald, CBC News, Washington campaign says a memo leaked by someone in Canada played a big role in her Ohio primary victory. That memo said Barack Obama wanted Canada to know his remarks about NAFTA were just campaign rhetoric. Stephen Harper has ordered an investigation into the leak, but there is an earlier incident in which Harper's own chief of staff was heard saying the same thing about Hillary Clinton. This began with a, a casual conversation between uh, the Prime Minister's chief of staff, Ian Brody, and a group of journalists. Uh, this took place uh, just last week during the uh, media lockup for the budget. Uh, they were talking about a number of issues and the, uh, the subject of the U.S. election campaign arose, specifically uh, promises from both Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama that they would renegotiate NAFTA and failing that could even pull the U.S. out of NAFTA uh, if they are elected president. Uh, if either of them are elected president. Uh, now, uh, according to people who heard this conversation, uh, Ian Brody said not to worry about it, that we have assurances from Hillary Clinton's campaign 
from Hillary Clinton's campaign, from Hillary Clinton's campaign, that that is just campaign rhetoric, take it with a grain of salt, is what they were told. Uh, now, this developed as the story was pursued uh, on the American side through diplomatic uh, sources in the embassy, uh, as we understand, uh, which led uh, the CTV network uh, to air the story about Obama, taking different positions on this in public uh, and in private. Uh, we're still waiting for some clarification, though, uh, as to how exactly the story changed. But we do know that it began with this conversation and Ian Brody mentioning that Hillary Clinton had provided the same assurances to Canada.